Good evening. Uh, forgive my broken English. I live in El Marzen, a remote village in Upper Egypt, 400 miles south of Cairo and 20 miles north of Luxor, with a population of 15,000. My grandparents, my dad, and I were all born and raised in the same village. Al Maghdin is a small, fairly poor farming community where everyone needs, uh, knows each other. I played and studied with a group of friends who all went through elementary and high school together and then went to the nearby university about 20 miles away. We used to meet weekly at friends' houses to talk and remember our old days and worried about with the many poor f families in our village who were too poor to have adequate housing or even running water and couldn't afford basic medical care. It was not, it was not easy at the beginning to make something out, nothing, out of nothing, but we decided we needed to start a foundation to get funding for important projects. That meant we needed to rent a place to apply for the government approval. Our group of friends walked around the village, knocking on the doors, and got at least 30% of the people in our village to make a small donation to cover the cost of the rent for the first year. Here are some of my friends who were collecting the donation. Our first big break came when the Canadian Care Organization offered us a professional training on how to make a grant proposal and how to carry out a project. That was the turning point for our group. The Egyptian government agreed to give us $40,000 to buy a piece of land and construct a building with a kindergarten, administrative offices, a charity medical center, and connecting drinking water to 100 needy houses. In 2015, we received another big break when a Kuwaiti charity survived local villages, including ours, and agreed to fund $500,000 of projects in our community, including this school building. This very generous grant has also helped us build 35 houses for the most needy families. We still have more on the waiting list. Here is one of the houses built for the, some of the needy families. We also used the funds to construct an automated bakery as well as a new building for the existing school and added a new floor to the old building. Most of the families in my village make bread at home. So this was an ad. The foundation also created a youth employment project to run environmentally clean up campaigns the project created nearly 20 jobs. Through this project, we were able to buy a tractor and a trailer for collecting trash, which was previously thrown into local canals. We were also able to use the grant to create loans project to support the needy women who were divorced or widowed and were not able to rely on family support. We also took advantage of our village's natural resources to find ways to create jobs. Because our village has many palm trees, we applied for a grant to buy machines that can turn the palm branches into arabesque designs for furniture. Many poor families in the village had only the most primitive toilet facilities. We applied and received a grant to install modern sanitary toilets in 75 houses in the village.
The Canadian Care Group again that had given us the training so that we were serious about the work and agreed to fund the mother and the child health care project to provide regular checkups for the new mother and their infants. In my village, many poor girls didn't go to school at all or stopped after elementary school. We applied for a government grant that allowed us to pay for teacher salaries and supplies to educate many of those girls who are now too old to attend the regular school. Currently, as you see, we only have one school for the entire village. Many children now walk for miles to school and several have been killed crossing the way to reach the building. Our next goal is to raise $30,000 to buy the land for the new K-9 school. The location for the proposed school is away from the busy roads and would greatly reduce the distance students would have to travel. Here is a safe place for the new school. We are supposed to build a new one. We now still have much to do, but an idea that began with simple lunch among friends have made big changes for our little village. While we were building the new houses, some people like to take photos. <laughs> our small project started, me, me, you see me with the turban? Our small project started with 20 years ago that had embraced by almost everyone in the village who have donated volunteered money, food, labor to help it grow. It has helped our community grow by providing jobs, food, health care, and it has also helped our community grow spiritually as well. Sharing is caring. That's why I share my story. Thank you.